what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video so as you know we had the draft lottery yesterday the results are officially in the spurs have landed the number one overall pick so today we're doing our first draft lottery rebuild which is obviously going to be a victor webb and yama san antonio spurs rebuild before we get in today's video make sure you guys drop a like in this one of course subscribe if you are new to the channel as always greatly appreciated so man oh man these are the results from yesterday so you had spurs one Hornets 2, Blazers 3, Rockets 4, Pistons 5 is one of the toughest things I've ever seen. I feel so bad for Pistons fans falling all the way to 5. But Magic Pacers, Wizards, Jazz, Mavericks kept their pick. And they got Magic again from the Chicago pick. Thunder, Raptors, and Pelican. So definitely an interesting draft lottery. There was like literally no changes up until pick 5, which is wild. Because obviously, usually you have a weird team jump up like in the middle. But nobody jumped up until pick 5, which I think the Blazers were literally... The only team that jumped up based off the odds, if I'm not mistaken. But let's go ahead and get Victor Webanyama. But now the first thing we have to do, unfortunately, in this file, I messed up. Greg Popovich does retire in this scenario, which I guess is fine. It definitely sucks to not have him, but uh, we'll get a different head coach and that's fine. So uh, we will not have Greg Popovich be our head coach to coach Victor Webanyama, which definitely doesn't feel right. But fortunately, it is what it is. So I'm going to go get ourselves a head coach. Now, I'll see you guys on draft night. Who do we want anyway? I'm going to try to get a real head coach. I guess like Nick Nurse would be out there, but we obviously know Popovich will be coaching this team, so I don't know. I'll probably just get like someone random, and then I will see you guys on draft night to, of course, select the franchise big man in Victor Webb and Yama. Today's video is brought to you by Prize Picks. The NBA playoffs are officially upon us, and there's no better way to get more out of the NBA playoffs that you're watching with Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a player props app that allows you to bet overs or unders on the players you love watching. Let me show you the website. Prize Picks is available on mobile or desktop. Currently, we're on the desktop version, and you're going to be opened up with this. Basically, you have every sport you can imagine. You got tennis, soccer pga cs go if you're into stuff like the MM mma but we're here for the nba the plan tournament is officially starting and i'm looking at some of these props right here and i'm feeling juicy so all you basically do you can choose between two to six players this is my favorite way of getting more out of the game i'm watching i'm already going to watch the game so might as well have some fun with it so let's say i wanted to go clint capella over points and let's say i want to go like maybe over Tyler Hero's prop as well. You just go more and more. Uh, three or two players is three times your money, and you can go all the way up to 25 times with six players. If you're still unsure about it, here are some examples of winnings I've had in the past, and you can go ahead and sign up with my link down in the description below. Use code CRUSHABLES or matching your deposit dollar for dollar up to $100 for first time users. Thank you, Prize Picks. For sponsoring today's video man oh man is this gonna feel good for spurs fans let's go ahead and do it no debate in my mind victor webb and yama will be going number one overall there will be a conversation about two and three what the hornets will do because we don't know will they draft scoo henderson or brendan miller will they go uh talent or uh, i guess fit i don't know obviously you could kind of debate whether brendan miller or scoo henderson are more talented anyway so i don't know it's gonna be interesting let's see what they do here so you got brendan miller going too which means the blazers are gonna draft scoo henderson so that is very interesting. Rock is going to draft Cameron Whitmore. Detroit's going to get Jet Howard. Uh, Orlando's going to get Jalen Hood Safino. So the Thompson Twins have not been selected yet. Still not been selected. There's one. Uh, Amon Thompson, Gregory Jackson. Dallas gets Jairus Walker. Orlando gets Kaysen Wallace. Okay. Uh, Bryce goes to the Thunder. You got Thompson finally going. And then the last lottery pick is Nick Smith Jr. for the Pelicans. So let's go to our next selection early on second round. I honestly think um, we'll be drafting Leonard Miller here or Derek Lively. Either way, I feel really good about either one of these players here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. Do I want the big man? I and mean, we got Victor Webb and Yama now. So I'm going to go Leonard Miller here. So let's get Leonard Miller at the top of the second round. And then later on, uh, Marcus Sasser. We got Jalen Clark, Augustine Ball. I'll go with Kobe Burke. So that will be my draft. So just like that, we come away with Victor Webb and Yama, obviously. And we'll have Leonard Miller and Kobe Burks as well. Which, by the way, if my voice sounds absolutely terrible, uh, it sounds terrible right now. But I don't know if you guys can. I don't know if it. I don't know if it sounds terrible through the mic. I guess you should say. But uh, combined with allergies and streaming yesterday, my voice is kind of shot. So uh, I apologize. But qualifying offers: we got Trey Jones and Romeo Langford. Uh, as far as free agency is concerned, uh, we do have some money to bring in a free agent if we really want to. But let's take a look at the roster as it is currently constructed. So Devonta Graham is here blake wesley is here you got Devin Vassell, malachi branham and kobe burks we just drafted kelton johnson doug mcdermott and leonard miller 
you have Jeremy Sohan and then Victor Webinyama. So I think I'm feeling pretty good about having Webinyama, Zach Collins as my front court center uh, center uh, rotation. Jeremy Sohan, I'm okay with him being my starting four. Uh, my only issue with Jeremy Sohan uh, is he doesn't progress that much in 2K. Uh, so we'll see if we can maybe fix that. He literally has zero badges. So maybe we can do like a mentorship program on him. That Maybe that would help. I don't know. Doug McDermott, Keldon Johnson. So maybe we can keep... I mean, Doug McDermott only has one badge though. So I'm not really sure. Vassell, Branham, and then Devontae Graham. So, I mean, I think this team is in desperate need for a point guard. I'm just not really sure who that could be. So if we can get like an upgrade the point guard spot... I'm feeling good about Vassell. I feel good about Keldon Johnson and Jeremy so on. So I like my starting five outside of my point guard spot. So if we can get like a really good point guard here, obviously you can sound like a D'Angelo Russell, probably Dinwoody, but none of these guys are really sticking out to me as guys I really want, to be honest with you. Uh, so if there was a trade that I could make, I would. But at the same time, I don't want to be that aggressive just yet. So I might just sign a bridge point guard for now. And then eventually down the line, maybe we'll be bad again and we could drop the point guard in next year's draft. And then we'll be ready to turn up from there. Uh, so that's probably going to be the direction we go in. I think I'm just going to sign some veterans in this offseason. And then we'll go ahead and try to get a point guard in next offseason. So yeah, this free agency is going to be that eventful. I'm signing Kevin Love because he has 17 badges. We're going to try to use him in the mentorship program with Jeremy Sohan. I want to be able to progress Jeremy Sohan as much as possible because he doesn't go up that much in 2K. So my first step is to sign Kevin Love. I know that's not anything special, but I'm not going to try to do anything crazy this first offseason. Uh, I definitely want another point guard on this team. I'm kind of looking at Mike Conley and kind of finding him to be a little interesting. Uh, but with Webb and Yama, Zach Collins, Jeremy Sohan, Kevin Love, uh, Keldon Johnson, Doug McDermott, or Leonard Miller being my backup three, which is fine. And Malachi Brando can back, be my backup two. And we have Devontae Graham as our starting point guard right now, which we could just roll with that and then have Blake Wesley back him up. So maybe we don't really need to sign anyone else and we could just kind of roll with this. I know it's not pretty. I know it's not exactly exciting. But I think that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to roll with that. So we're just going to go straight to player progression. And we're going to try to use Kevin Love's mentorship on uh, Jeremy Sohan. He does go up to an 80 overall, which is a good sign. But if we get him some badges, that would be nice. Vassell, Keldon Johnson, Vic, Zach Collins, Trey Jones. Zach Collins, Victor Webb, and Yama is definitely going to be my center rotation throughout the video. I want to be able to keep Vassell. I want to be able to keep Keldon Johnson. But I wouldn't be surprised if we traded him down the line. Uh, just because we could probably get decent value for him. Maka Branham is up and Devontae Graham is up and Doug McDermott is down. So it could also, I will say, be an eventful trade deadline for us because we could sell some pieces if we need to. Uh, but the main thing for me is trying to use this mentorship program. That way we can give some of these guys some badges, progress this team as much as possible. So let's go ahead and get straight into that and uh, we'll go from there. Obviously, we're not going to be very good this season unless Victor Webb and Yama just carries us, which he definitely could. But let's go ahead and do what I said I wanted to do. So, player mentorship. So, I am going to go. Uh, so, we got Keldon Johnson already mentoring, uh, mentored by Doug McDermott, which is cool. Okay. But I want Jeremy Sohan mentored by Kevin Love. He's literally the only, this is literally the only reason I signed Kevin Love. So, um, what do I want to give him is the question. Uh, Claymore comeback kid. There's not a ton of, uh, like, Kevin Love doesn't have anything crazy. So, if we can just give him something. Back down Punisher, Dream Shake. Uh, Dream Shake, I guess we can try drop stepper i don't know as long as we're just getting something i think that's fine and then maybe green machine i guess would be cool as well let's do that and uh that will be my mentor for jimmy so on uh, is there anyone else uh Devin vassell mentor by Devonte graham i guess that's cool if we want to do that we'll go ahead and set that and then anybody else do i want uh mentored leonard miller Keldon johnson uh i think we're good right Devin vassell being mentored by Devonte graham Zach Collins, I don't want him mentor Malachi Branham. So yeah, I think the main thing was wanting to get uh, Jeremy So on some badges. So hopefully that's going to work out. So let's look at our rotation. So nine minute rotation is Trey Jones, Dem Vassell. Oh, we got Trey Jones back, which I just realized. Uh, Trey Jones, Dem Vassell, Kelton Johnson, Jeremy So on, Vic, Zach Collins, Branham, Devontae Graham, and Kevin Love. So definitely an interesting rotation. I'm excited to see how this is going to go. We definitely could be a sneaky play in or playoff team just because how good Vic could probably be. But we'll see what happens. I will see you guys at the trade deadline or at the end of the season. So at the end of the season, Victor Webinyama averaging 19 and 10 does get rookie of the year, which we love to see. That's a good start to obviously his career. We did not stop at the trade deadline because I just didn't really see the point. There was like literally no one I could have traded for like insane value. If it was going to be a trade, I probably was only going to get like a second or so. So didn't see the point of that. If we take a look at the full player stats, you had 21 from Keldon Johnson. You had 19 from Vic, 17 from Vassell. Malachi Brandon with 13 and Jeremy Sohan with 12. So let's go ahead and simulate these playoffs and let's see 
how this is going to go, who's going to win a championship, as you have the Pelicans making it all the way to play the Cavs, and you have the Pelicans going on to win it all. Retirements got Chris Paul, Kyle Lowry, Rudiger, Al Horford, so a lot of retirements there. Let's go straight to this draft lottery for a second year in a row because we'll be part of this lottery for the second time now. So obviously, uh, we also have Charlotte's pick, but I'm pretty sure it's protected in the lottery, and I don't know if they made it or not. I wasn't paying attention. So uh, if we go to the Eastern Conference, Charlotte went 35 and 47. So there is a chance. Actually, no, it's protected. So we're not going to get Charlotte's pick, unfortunately, but let's just jump straight in and see what happens. So obviously, in this draft, we need to get ourselves a point guard. We're projected pick number 10. Uh, which is really unfortunate. Wait, were we? I thought we were a lot worse than that. Hold on. So we went 34 and 48. I thought we were a lot worse than that, to be honest with you. But uh, I guess not. Pick number 10 it is. So let's go ahead and see uh, if we get lucky at pick 10. We also have Charlotte's pick, which I mentioned already that it is protected. So we're not actually getting this pick. Charlotte's pick is top 14 protected for the next two seasons, which is kind of unfortunate. But Knicks via Detroit and then number 12. This is supposed to be Charlotte's pick. It says it's going to us, but it's not going to be, unfortunately. So that's pick 12. The main thing is seeing if we get lucky and our pick jumps up into pick or jumps up to the top four pick 10, which is probably not going to, but you never know. 3% chance. It could happen. Let's see. And it does jump up. Wow. That's actually insane. Spurs have moved in the top four. So two years in a row, we are in the top four. I mean, how lucky can you get? So we're guaranteed to walk away with the point guard of this draft. Like no debate. We're getting one. Collier, Dillingham, or DJ Wagner, like literally could not have gotten luckier there. So Pacers number eight, uh, looks like the Bulls jumped to the top four and someone else did as well. So this draft lottery has got some movement. Knicks fell all the way to seven, which they had a 14% chance, which is the Dallas pick. Got the Rockets at number six, and uh, they had a 14% chance as well. That was the Brooklyn pick. There was a lot of movement in this draft, and you got Oklahoma City number five, and that is going to stay that way. And then number four, well, obviously not stay that way. It changed already. But Chicago is going to be, that's Oklahoma City. So like I said, we're getting a really good point guard in this draft no matter what. So I don't even care what pick we get at this point. No matter what, we got our pick at whatever point guard. So one or two, we're walking away with an elite point guard. So I could not be happier right now. Back-to-back -back years of having number one. Wow. Back-to-back -back years of having the number one overall pick. Jumping up from 10 to number one absolutely insane we can absolutely create a dynasty so just like that number one overall pick i have to give uh the hornets their pick back and we also should have the raptors pick if i'm not mistaken which uh yeah number 20 so pick 20 we have the raptors pick so w what an off season to start this off we get to go ahead and add another young player to this team i'm so excited about that so we're gonna get this filled out a little bit and then I'm going to be giving the Hornets their pick back. And I will see you guys on draft night with the point guard we will be selecting. Now, I actually have a little bit of a wrench in my plans. I totally forgot that I could draft Matt here with his number one overall pick, which is someone I've never drafted before whatsoever. So I'm kind of wanting to take him. And then maybe we could just draft a point guard. I've never taken him in the past. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do so. So obviously, I could draft a point guard right now. But Matt is someone I've never drafted. So I'm going to go ahead and bring him in. So we'll bring him in and we'll get a point guard through somewhere else. So. Kel Ware at pick 20. We have Mac. We got Dylan Mitchell, Michael Williams, Skylar Clark. I'm going to take Dylan Mitchell here, and that will be my draft. So just like that, we walk away with Matt. Don't know how to say his last name, but obviously I could have drafted a point guard. But I think walk away with Matt. Best player available is going to be the right approach. We got middle Mitchell as well, Middleton, and then Breland, which I'm just going to sign Matt and Mitchell. And then let's go get ourselves a point guard, uh, a veteran point guard, I guess, since we went ahead and passed up on drafting one. We got ourselves a shooting guard. Lonzo Ball is a free agent. Markel Fultz is a free agent. So there is some interesting free agents we could bring in that I think are going to be good enough at that point guard spot. I'm honestly leaning towards Markel Fultz right now. I think he'd be really, really good to bring in. But instead of getting Markel Fultz in free agency, since the Blazers do have Scoot Henderson and they have Shaden Sharp and they have Damian Lillard, I wonder if that would make Anthony Simons more expendable. They can go ahead and get themselves a forward in Keldon Johnson. Reason why we'd be doing this is because obviously we have a cell who we could be moved to small for it and we just drafted Matt. So Kelvin Johnson becomes the guy that becomes a little bit more expendable and we can get ourselves an elite point guard to pair next to Victor Webb and Yama, Vassell and Matt. I think this is a done deal. I'm offering it and they do agree. Just like that, we walk away with Anthony Simons to be our brand new point guard of this team. I said we could have signed like Markel Fultz, but I'm feeling a lot better just about bringing Anthony Simons in. Instagram can be the backup or Wesley, whichever one. We'll have Matt, Malachi Branham. We'll have Leonard Miller, Dylan Mitchell as one of the backups. And we'll have Jeremy Sowan still, Victor Webanyama. I want to bring back Zach Collins, obviously. 
and i also want to bring um back vassell so let's go ahead and do just that so free agency bird rights uh devin vassell 100 bringing back but i'll wait till after moratorium and then zach collins like i definitely want him back so zach collins i'm going to bring him back he's played great for san antonio so let's not uh pass up on bringing him back so zach collins welcome back and the vassell will be locking you up so obviously You'll be playing where Keldon Johnson was playing. He's not going to cost a ton either. So this is honestly perfect. I felt really good about what we just did. So we're moving Vassell to the small forward spot. And we're going to have a really interesting starting five now. So just like that, we have Anthony Simons, Devontae Graham, Matt Malachi Branham, Devin Vassell, Leonard Miller, Jeremy Sohan, Victor Webb, and Yaman Zach Collins. I still think we should probably bring in another forward. Uh, another backup point guard wouldn't hurt either if we don't trust Devontae Graham, which I kind of don't. Uh, Brooks, Gordon Hayward, Lonnie Walker, former Spur, and Lonnie Walker could bring him back. Uh, Grant Williams, Aaron Neesmith. I'm going to bring in Grant Williams. Why not? Have him come off the bench of this team. I think he'd be perfect, and that will be my offseason. So I'm also leaning towards trading Devontae Graham, but uh, he might be fine enough that we can just kind of roll with them. We'll see. I can get Terrence Mann. We'll wait. Let's see if he goes down in overall. So let's go straight to player progression and uh, see if that changes anything. So going to player progression. Simons is up to Webb and Yama's up, Vassell is up, Malachi Branham, Jeremy Sohan, and then Graham is the same. So I'm okay with that. So now, uh, did Jeremy Sohan get a badge, by the way, from that mentor? He got one badge. I guess it's better than nothing. Up to an 82 overall, Webb and Yama. I'm feeling really good, man. I actually feel really good about this team. I think we can be a playoff team next year. That's how good I'm feeling because we went from no point guard to Anthony Simons. We got the number one overall pick and drafted Matt. I've never drafted Matt before. How do you say his last name, by the way? I need to learn because I have no idea. I'm scared to say it because I know I'm going to be like super bad at saying it. But regardless, let's see what this team is about to look like. Rotationally, this is what our team is looking like. Simons, Matt, Vassell, Jeremy Sohan, Vector Webb and Yama, Branham, Zach Collins, Grant Williams, and Devontae Graham. Proficiency is going to be listed at a four-star balanced. Power ranking on lands at 25, but I'm pretty sure we'll be a playoff team this year. I want Simons taking more shots as well. I want him to become the elite point guard we need him to be. So I'm going to push Simons up to a 96. Why not? Something like that. And then Vic, Vassell, Branham, and that will be our shot tendency. So I will see you guys at the end of the season where I expect to fully be a playoff team. So I may have been a little too optimistic with my evaluation. We were a little disappointing. Honestly, we're only a play-in team in the West, which is still good. But I thought I would be locked in as a playoff team. I felt really good about my team on paper. Only 39 and 43 on the season, but it's a step in the right direction, at least getting back to the playing spot. So 23 from Simons, which is awesome. 20, almost 20 from Matt. Uh, Vassell with 17 and Vic with 15 and 11. 14 from Malachi Brenham, 12 and a half from Jeremy Sowan, and then eight from Zach Collins, five, and then five from Grant Williams. So Grant Williams didn't do too much, but regardless, uh, I mean, we can get out of this play-in and then be in a good position, but unfortunately, we do get eliminated. So back to the lottery we go as we got Oklahoma City and Minnesota. You're going to have the Celtics, Hawks, Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma City, Thunder, and Grizzlies, but now it's Hawks, Thunder, and you have the Thunder going on to beat the Hawks in seven games. Another draft lottery for us. We're projected pick 14, and we also have Chicago's pick, apparently. I cannot remember what trade that's from. That might be from the DeMar DeRozan trade, is it? I don't know. That might be. Uh, Spurs uh, via Charlotte, which, again, that pick is protected once again, which really sucks. Uh, so I'm just going to get the results as we have uh, pick number. What do we have? We got 14. That's it. So the Bulls, I think, kept their pick. Must have been protected. So we only have pick 14, and uh, we have 29 from Atlanta, which is from the the Johnson Murray trade, as I know. So Rockets, again, get number one overall. Shout out to them. Or I guess they finally got number one overall, not again. Uh, head coaches. I wonder if there's going to just be some better better candidates out here. I don't know if it's my head coach's fault, but like we can get a, like an actual head coach. I think that makes sense. So Tyron Liu is here. I also, saw my, I also saw Mike Budenholzer, which obviously pretty sure he used to be an assistant in San Antonio. So uh, as much as uh, he's not a great coach in real life, if we can bring him in a 2K, I mean, he should he should be solid. So I'm going to bring in Mike Boonholzer to be our head coach. Obviously, like I mentioned, uh, the mistakes he makes in real life are very apparent. But in 2K, he'll be fine. So I really like Mike Boonholzer coming back to San Antonio. And we'll get Jack Campbell, or J Jacob Campbell, I should say, to be our brand new uh, wing whisperer. So let's go straight to draft night. Honestly, as far as this pick is concerned, I mean, we could add another player, obviously. But uh, I'm not really sure who I'd want. So we have 14 and 29. I wonder if we can move up like two spots with 29 then maybe Grant Williams we throw in and maybe Dylan Mitchell. Like just move up and get like another good player in this draft. I don't know if we could. So let's try 14, 29. We got a bunch of seconds. So let's package these picks. 
I was trying to move up to like pick seven or something. So pick seven from Charlotte. What do you say? They don't agree. I will give you Dylan Mitchell as well. Actually, that might be a little too much. Uh, let's offer all of our seconds. See if this moves us up. Not there. So um, let's remove one of these first. And maybe we can give them their pick back. Uh, it's going to be a really valuable pick. So maybe we could have it next year. And we got the Bulls pick as well. Um, Maybe another second. I don't think this is going to do it. So maybe we're being too optimistic with pick seven. Let's try like nine. Pick nine would be fine too. So pick nine uh, from the Nets. And they do agree. So we move up to pick nine. And let's even get anybody good. So pick nine. Uh, we got Trent Flowers. We got Aid Holloway. We got AJ Johnson. We could definitely use a different backup point guard. So I'm going to take Ed Holloway here at this selection. And that will be my draft. So just like that, we walk away with a 74 overall point guard. Uh, Flowers would have been the better pick, I guess. And then you're going to have Aid Holloway, Marshall. And uh, we're going to go with that. Player options, we're accepting all four of these. And then qualifying offers, Leonard Miller. Definitely wouldn't mind bringing him back. But free agency, let's see what we got going on. So free agency, Devontae Graham, I'm not bringing him back. Uh, Shake Milton, we don't really have money to do anything crazy in free agency. So right now, Blake Wesley will probably continue to go up in overall. So he'll be our backup point guard this year. Matt Malachi Branham, obviously he's locked in. Vassell Mitchell, uh, Jeremy Saw Grant Williams, and then Vic and Zach Collins. Honestly, I wouldn't mind a better backup forward unless we really trust Dylan Mitchell to progress like crazy or Leonard Miller. Either way, um, small forwards that we could bring in if we wanted to for competition. We got Kenrich Williams. Uh, Terrence Davis is always a good option, so I'll bring him in. Why not? Uh, it says renounce Leonard Miller, which I don't want to do, actually. So I'm not going to renounce Leonard Miller. I'm going to try to bring him back. Actually, Bird Rights doesn't give me him right now, uh, but he should be coming back as qualifying offer. What overall is he? Well, what is he asking for is the question because I don't even see him right now. Leonard Miller, what are you asking for? Probably a bag, which makes no sense because you've barely played. He's asking for 6.5. That's nothing crazy. So I'll give him a contract. Three years, bring Leonard Miller back, and we'll go with that. So that will be my offseason. Nothing special. I really expect player progression to treat us very well. And then we should be a playoff team next year. And maybe a sneaky contender. I don't see why not. So Vic is up. Uh, so on is up to an 84. So he's progressing more than I've ever seen, which is really cool. Matt's only up to an 82. Zach Collins is up. Grant Williams Wesley is up. And uh, that's it. So I think there's a chance we actually stop the trade deadline this time to make an upgrade in the bench. We need to. I really want to be a locked in top five seed playoff team this year, like really badly. So um, let's not do that. I don't know what I just clicked. Let's just download a draft class. But yeah, this year, I want to be a playoff team without a doubt. So at the trade deadline, we just made a trade in order to get Jared Venable to upgrade our power forward spot. I traded Grant Williams and two first round picks to do so. I don't know if it's going to be a crazy upgrade, but Vanderbilt, I think, is going to fit exactly what we need as a bench defender, so I feel really good about that. The only change I'm making at the deadline was that I really like my starting five as it is, so we're just going to continue to simulate right now 29 and 25 on the season. So hopefully, uh, with that being said, after getting Vanderbilt, we can continue to get even better than this. So at the end of the season, for the first time in this video, we have locked ourselves in as a playoff team. We made the plan last year and actually played Sacramento in that plan and we lost them. So this time we get to play them again and hopefully we can actually beat them. So 22 from Simons, 20 and 13 from Webb and Yama, 16 from Matt, 16 from Vassell, 16 from Branham. So he's even becoming really good. Jeremy Sohan with 13. So love to see it. Zach Collins with eight and six and three assists and then seven from Blake Wesley. Five from Vanderbilt. I've never seen someone progress this much. I'd like to think that mentorship program really made a difference in this progression, but I could be wrong. So let's go ahead and see if we take down Sacramento. And man, my voice, like I'm losing it, bro. Like hopefully we can just win a championship here because, bro, I don't know how much longer I can speak. Like my voice is given out a couple times in this video, but we'll see what happens. Somebody come around against Sacramento and uh, they do win game one. Oh, we beat them at six. Okay. They, want, they got one game on us and then got another one, but we do beat them in six, and now we get Houston. So Houston just drafted with a number one overall pick, and they added uh, Trey Johnson. So they have a very good deep bench, so this could definitely be the end of our run here. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I like our stunning five, but again, they have a good one as well. So let's game by ga go game by game. We do lose by four, down two to zero. Uh, can we even it up here? We can. Okay, go in three straight, though. Yes, we can. Can we beat them in six? Go to game seven. All right, uh, let's see what happens. So game seven... It says give more minutes to Victor Webb and Yama. I can agree with that. So let's see if uh, that's going to make a difference. Game seven in Houston. Battle these Texas teams. This gets us to the conference finals. Can we do it? We have the lead for now, but they could easily get back in this game. It's a one-point game at one point. Uh, I think we got it. We did it. Let's go 123 to 105. 
29, 12, and 6. 28 from Vassell. 6 of 10 from 3. Love to see it. Brandon with 22. All right. We're in the conference finals now playing Minnesota. They got Jordan Goodwin, Edwards, Ron Holland, Cat, Capella, Gobert. I mean, how many centers do you... Nas Reed as well. That's just a big-headed monster. Four-headed monster at the center position. Um, I'm going to be honest, though. I feel like Houston's, Houston's team was much better. But 2K does love rebounding. So I wonder if Minnesota is going to beat us here. Game by game. Game one, we do beat them 144 to 117. Simons with 38. Love to see it. They even it up. Game three, they're up two to one. Yep, here it is. Two to two. Can we win game six or game five? No. We're going to have to force a game seven if we want any chance. So uh, the centers, I guess we can just get four centers and it's going to, you know, lead to a championship. Let me just get a mid point guard and just get four centers because that seems to be working. So um, can we please win this game? Win this game? We're going to lose to Minnesota. Bro, that's so stupid. Like, they have four centers, and that leads to them winning the... F that's so dumb. All right, whatever. Uh, I'm going to run it back. I mean, at this point, I think this team is only going to continue to progress. We added Vanderbilt, who's going to be a good defender off the bench. Blake Wesley's going to keep getting better. So, I'm literally just going to run it back another year. I'm not changing anything. We were super close. Lost to Minnesota, which I think is stupid because, bro, that that doesn't make any sense. Nasri, Cat. Capella, and then you have a point guard in Mikey Williams, I guess, who was starting, whatever. But regardless, let's run it back. Back in the playoffs once again, but this time we're the second seed in the West. One thing I'm pretty disappointed by is Matt has not moved up in overall whatsoever. He is an 83 now, I guess, but obviously came in as like an 82 overall or 81, and he's barely moved, which really sucks. But 26 and a half from Simons, 20 and 13 from Victor Webb and Yama, fully establishing his dominance as a big man in this league, which you love to see. 19 from Vassell, 15 from Alki Branham. Uh, 13 from Matt, and then you had uh, 13 from Jeremy Soan, who's up to an 85 overall. So yeah, he's honestly progressed very, very well, and I'm very, very happy with that. The spacing looked really good as well. I'm hoping this is our year, man. I really am. I'm really hoping so. So second seed in the West, we get to play Portland in round one. Obviously, we made a trade with them earlier. We have Scoot Henderson, Shannon Sharp, Keldon Johnson, Barris, Damian Lord is still their six man, OG Anobi, Corey Kispert. So a very good team in Portland. So Let's just somebody current round. They're going to win one game on us, but we beat them in six. Thank you. Okay. Now we get the Kings, who we beat last year. They have a, uh, upgraded Keontae George. They have Grant Williams now, who we traded to Cleveland, but he ended up in Sacramento. Um, going to be a tough opponent. So I'm going to go game by game on this one. 30 and 16 from Vic. Game two, they even it up. Game three, two to one. Bro, we're going to lose Sacramento in round two. Please don't. Game five, we beat them in six. Yes, we can. Okay. Conference finals, and we get Dallas. Wow. We're going to have to deal with Oklahoma City, which is a W, because I think Oklahoma City would have been really hard to beat, and I'm so glad Dallas took care of them. But Dallas must have a good team, as it has Wise or they have Wiseman, Christian Wood, Jairus Walker, McDaniels, Quinn Grimes, Luka, and then Jonathan Isaac, Isaiah Joe, Dennis Schroeder. So, I mean, it's a good team in Dallas still. Uh, so, definitely not underestimate the, underestimating them by any means. But let's see what happens. Game by game, we do win game one. Great start, 27-13. and 13. Game two... They even it up. Uh, they beat us by one. That sucks. Game three, two to one. Dallas is that team, aren't they? Oh, can we win game five, please? Yes. Can we beat them in six? Yes. We're in the finals. Okay. We get to play the Cavs now, who obviously have Evan Mobley. They do still have Mitchell. They lost Donovan Mitchell, but they did add a Brandon Ingram. So, okay. We have a chance. They don't have Donovan Mitchell, and their bench is terrible. Look at this bench. It falls off. Gavin Griffith and Ja Felton is some of their bench pieces. Okay. I feel like this is our chance, man. Right now is our window of opportunity to win it all. Uh, they got Malachi Branham starting over Matt, so that's how much of a progression Malachi Branham has made. He's literally up to an 85 overall. Right now in these playoffs, let's see. He's averaging 17.5 in the playoffs right now. W. All right. Game one, 1-0. One Great start. Beat them by 10. I need to I need to end it here because my voice is not going to last much longer. Game two, 2-0. Two zero. Great start. Game three, let's go. I can't yell, but we won a championship. Game four, San Antonio winded it off here on a good note. So we got Victor Webb and Yama in the Spurs, a championship. I'm in it there, boys. I would have celebrated, celebrated a little bit more. But, man, I got to go rest my voice for the rest of the day because tomorrow I do not want to sound like this. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Brandon Miller or Scoot Henderson, I'll probably do a poll because I'm I'm torn on what they're going to do. What is Charlotte going to do? Thank you guys for watching. As always, this Crushable. See you on the next one. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.